Hey, what's going on YouTube? So it's Nathan back here with another one bringing to you Apple TV. Apple TV is officially on the Amazon Fire Stick. If you didn't know, it doesn't automatically show up, but all you have to do is search for it. I'm going to go and walk you through the steps right after this. All right, so to find Apple TV on your Amazon Fire Stick, we need to search for it. So the first thing we do is go to the magnifying glass to the left-hand side. And then once we're on the magnifying glass, we just simply use the keypad down below to type in Apple TV. Um, once you do start to type in Apple, you'll then see it auto-populate. And then I, all I did was type in Apple, A-P-P-L-E. And then it starts to auto-populate, maybe the third or fourth one down below. And then I made my way down. So I'm going to go down to Apple TV. Once I'm hovered over it, just click on Apple TV. All right, and then these are the options. You'll see movies and TV. You'll see apps and games. Under the apps and games section, make your way to the right and just keep going. It's so new that it, you have to search for it and go deep into the search results. But there it goes, the Apple logo with TV that's it you click on it once it does get a few reviews it'll just show up the first app um, but right now it's so new that you have to scroll through it but you'll see downloaded um, but before I download I'm gonna go ahead and click on a few of these screenshots just so I can show you what it'll look like but I'll click on it and open it up right after this so I can show you what it does look like officially in the inside all right so this is what it's gonna look like this is just a quick snapshot of what it will look like you got your TV section, your movie section, TV shows, library, search, and settings. Um, also, in case you're curious about Apple TV Plus, Apple TV Plus is going to be a service that you can access within this app. And once Apple TV is released on the Fire Stick uh, on November 1st, I'll bring that to you as well in another video. But right now, in case you're wondering about Apple TV Plus, it is going to be offering new Apple Originals every month. It'll be ad-free and on-demand. You can also add up to six family members to it. You can watch it on any device uh, that has Apple TV, and it's going to be $4.99 a month. And you can also try it for free for seven days, in case you're interested. You can also get Apple TV Plus for free for one year if, for any reason, you bought an Apple TV, an iPhone, an iPad, an iPod Touch, or a Mac. So definitely keep that in mind so you might already have it for free if you bought any of those devices. All right, so I did go ahead and install this, download it. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the free content that you have access within the Apple TV. So um, you, you have uh, quite a bit. I, I did see some HBO shows and a few other shows that were free on here. All right, so once it's done loading, it'll say, Welcome to Apple TV. Watch all your favorite TV in one place and on all screens. So you can watch this across any type of iPhone device, Android, any type of device that will give you the Apple TV app. Uh, it says your playback and searches are used to personalize your experience. This is pretty much saying device analytics do you want to send to Apple, and this will also improve the experience. So I just keep, keep it on send. That way, when you do watch something, it'll remember that and, and you know keep reminding you that there's something new on here for you to watch. Um, so this is what the experience will be like. You have uh, multiple sections. This is the free section here, free series premieres. That's the section that I was telling you about that you can watch a bunch of free content under. And then you have the movie section where you got all your new movies that are in theaters or just released from theaters. And once you do click on one of these items, you always get a trailer. You'll get some related categories, bundles, cast and crew, and then you'll see the about section. And also the Rotten Tomatoes score is also pretty uh, handy as well. Alright, so if we scroll back up to the top and we want to watch this, we just click on how to watch. It's then going to ask you to sign in. Um, you can either sign in on your mobile phone or you can sign on on this TV. Um, also, if you don't already have an Apple ID account, you can click on create ID there. Or you can just go online and create your Apple, D, Apple ID from there and then log in. That's also going to be how they're going to customize the search. So it's going to be based on your login. So if you already click on a few things, it's already going to gather that information and begin to present it to you on the home screen. And then these are the Apple channels that you can add as well. You got Epic, Cinema, Cinemax, um, MTV, C, 
See now, these are some uh, other ones. You got BET Plus, you might be familiar with that, but the HBO, Showtime, all those you should be familiar with that as well, but you can add them here. And then you have your kids section, popular, and then your Apple TV channel highlights. All right, so if we look at the top, that was the Watch Now tab. If I move over to the Movies tab, you'll then see the same similar situation. You have uh, top comedy, top drama. You have just a bunch of different categories that you can choose from. And it kind of just personalizes it for you. Well, not just yet, but it will start to personalize. Same thing for TV show section. You have your free section, your fan favorites, popular, and then you can try those Apple TV channels or you can add your HBO Showtime and all that. And that's if you already subscribe to them. If you don't, then it won't really come in handy unless you purchase it. As for the library tab, you want to sign into your account and then that's when your items will show all the movies and TV shows that you've purchased along the way. It'll show under your library section. I had purchased a movie from like way back in 2013 when I had an iPhone and it was still showing that movie. So that was pretty cool. Um, you also have the search section. Now you now I'm under the settings where you can sign in as well under the settings. And then you have your about. You can reset your Apple TV app from here within the app. And then you can also show your scores, your sports scores on the thumbnails. So definitely keep that in mind. Your restrictions, you can add your parental controls in here, different movies or anything that you want to show, different ratings, um, and you can set that for your kids. Um, as far as ac accessibility, you can also set your subtitles and captioning here, bold text, increase the contrast, the whole shebang there. And also if I go back down, this is where you would adjust your analytical data. If you don't want Apple to you know, recommend things or different types of content to you you can definitely turn that off where it says share Apple TV analytics you can just turn it off that way everything will be completely random but you will miss out on the capability of getting your searches customized or any type of items that they may show you customized so I like mine turned on because I do like to get some recommendations that way I can watch something that I may have never seen before but it's kind of similar to other things that I do watch on the daily and also click on the how the data is managed you can read the terms and conditions on how your data is managed in case you're worried or wondering why you should turn it off and why you should keep it on so that's definitely something to take a look at so what I'll do at this point I'll go ahead and sign in on the Apple TV app so you can kinda of get a feel for what the experience will be like once you do sign in on this app I'm gonna click on sign in on this TV and I'm gonna go ahead and put in my information and pick up right after I sign in all right, so we're signing in. It's loading. All right, so it says start watching. It takes me back to the greeting screen, and it says start watching again. Okay, so as soon as you log in, you'll see your recent purchases. I've only purchased one thing because I only had an iPhone for a limited time, and that was when Rainbow first came out on the iPhone in the iTunes store maybe years ago, like 2015, 2014, and it's still showing in my library. All right, so that's what it'll show. And then as you start to click on different items, you'll be able to watch now. And I believe you do have to be logged in for you to watch anything. So I, I'm going to go ahead and click on power just so I can show you what happens when you try to watch a TV show. This is all free. Of course, this is Star, so you may be thinking, okay, why is this free? Um, I tried to play the latest seasons, uh, so season six. It did not give me the option to play season six. It does show me the episodes in the description, so it is there for people who do subscribe to Stars. But the only thing I found for free was season one. Um, and as you can see, it says in app purchases are, aren't allowed on this device. I'll touch on that in just a moment. So I'm going to click on OK, and I did go back to season one just to see if it would play it might play season one season two and season three I didn't test it I just know season one works and this is season one here and it works just fine all right so this is just me fast forwarding I'm just gonna fast forward through this part just so I can show you that it does play this is power if you're familiar with power this is the intro also you can definitely take advantage of power if you haven't seen it this is the first season they have it for free on the Apple TV app so definitely keep that in mind Alright, so as you can see, that's free. 
They have a bunch of other TV shows that are free as well um, that you can probably watch the first seasons of it, but you can't watch the latest seasons. But if you watch my videos, you know how to get all content for free either way. So it makes no difference. The only difference would be is the quality that this puts out versus the, the free uh, movie apps that you can watch and get all TV shows for free. So these are the TV shows. I'm just going to scroll through here so you can see what all they have for free. They got some good ones. They had Insecure, True Blood, Game of Thrones. They have some very decent shows in here for free. Um, so definitely check that out. Let me click on Hobbs and Shaw just so I can touch on that piece where you cannot purchase anything within the Amazon Fire Stick, Apple TV app. Same with Roku, most likely. It says, in-app purchases aren't allowed on this device. To watch here, you must have purchased or rented this movie or episode on an Apple device. So, unfortunately, hopefully they change that within the Amazon Fire Stick. But I could see why that is the case because it's not an Apple device. It doesn't communicate to iTunes, so it's not really integrated within the app itself. So you definitely want to make sure that you're logged in and that you have everything linked up to your iTunes account. And that includes HBO, Apple TV Plus especially. So when some of these TV series comes out, if you subscribe to Apple TV Plus, you want to make sure that you're logged into it and it's logged in and synced up with your Apple device and iTunes. That way when you do click on these shows for the first time, they'll automatically just play instead of saying in that purchase must be, you know, linked up with your iTunes account something like that and I'll just give you a quick preview because I don't subscribe to Showtime or HBO or anything like that within this app yet I do have HBO and Showtime but I haven't linked it up yet so let me just give you a quick preview of what that'll be like if you wanted to watch something on Showtime so I just picked something randomly the happy times murders if I wanted to watch that through Showtime and I click on how to watch and you immediately get prompted with in-app purchases and then it says you must subscribe to this within iTunes. So just make sure you subscribe to it within iTunes. Or if you, I'm pretty sure if you have any type of cable for provider, you can link it up with your iTunes. That way, when you do open this app, you can start watching everything for free. And it'll just click, cl you'll just click on it and it'll just work. So that'll be awesome. I believe this app has a lot of potential once you do configure and set everything up within the iTunes app. So that's pretty good. Um, overall, I like the app and it definitely looks good. It looks clean, smooth, it runs good, and I like the free content that it offers. But that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. You have a great day. Give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.